Hi Floss Tube. My name is Becca and this is Shadow and yes she's getting a marshmallow today because it's Christmas season. Uh, you have found us here on Sambri Stitches. This is a channel about cross stitch, my designing journey, my life, uh, and I've switched to a vlog style. So this is I believe the third week of my vlog style. I am so so happy that y'all are enjoying it. It's fun. Um, a little bit easier <laughs> to make. I just upload videos throughout the day um, and kind of mush them all together. But if any of you are new, um, I hope that you enjoy the vlog style. Um, there's a lot of life, some stitching. In this one, I have a finish, a couple finishes actually, um, and some whips and then a whole lot of life in there too. So um, so welcome. And I truly hope that you will subscribe and help share the channel. I would love, love to continue to grow the channel um, and just interact with more people. Welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you all so much. You are truly so supportive and so loving. I just appreciate each and every one of you, especially in that last video. Um, your your comments were just incredible so thank you um and so other than that i'm just gonna let you enjoy the vlog and uh let me know what you think it's the evening of november 29th and i am sitting here attempting <laughs> a very very bad lacing job wish i could show you the front but it's my nashville needlework market model um, but it fits in an 8x10 frame, so I figured I'd try and do it myself. Um, it looks pretty... I don't know. It doesn't look terrible, but that's what I'm doing this evening. I have another one that I need to lace as well, so sounds like a fun evening. Going into Goodwill to see if I can find any picture frames for a model for Nashville Knitwork Market. So wish me luck, y'all. I came out from Goodwill and I got docked! It's been a while. How awesome! Well, I was going to record a bit in there because there was a lot of cool Christmas stuff, but it was so packed. I just couldn't get a good video and music was playing, so I didn't want to get a copyright strike. But I think that I found my frame. Um, I sent a picture to Sam, my older daughter, and she said that it looked good. Uh, I was looking for a little bit more of a rustic brown but this I think will work so I'm gonna go home and see it in the light and see how it works but yeah it was crazy I stood in line forever just to buy a picture frame <laughs> tis the season I guess um and it was really cool to get ducked he's so cute I love him with his little hat <laughs> it's been a while since I've been ducked and it just it feels really good it kind of cheers you up that's that's the whole point of it so uh, thank you to whoever ducked me. It was the coolest thing ever. He has joined the rest of his friends and Bigfoot up on my dash. Pretty sure this is the Jeep that ducked me because they have a duck in there on their dash that has the little hat. So I ducked them back. shadow waiting for her daddy it's raining outside oh is that daddy is that daddy <laughs> I think these are gonna be my next two that hopefully I can whip out this is super cute and small and then this one can go in my little dog display um, for Christmas and there's one on the back that I need to find. The letters to Santa with the dog. I need that. I got to go find that and I need to stitch it. It's so cute. Hi, everybody. It's the evening of Thursday, November 30th, about 1030 at night. I am exhausted. <laughs> um, I had a new start. Like I shared, I started this one. And... Um, I did a like speed recording, about five minutes worth of recording that I sped up to about a minute. Um, and I posted that on social media. 
um, and I'll post it here too. It's just kind of fun to watch. Uh, my hand cramps up after a while, but, and I just. decided to put my floss for the kit on floss drops, my Bigfoot floss drops. Um, I will link the shop down below. Uh, it's April, but I can't remember the Etsy shop name off the top of my head. Um, but I'm going to do that for my floss. And I got quite a bit done. I just have two more little toe beans and then the red and the green. I love this. It's so cute. And I found this one on Amazon and it's on its way to me already. So excited. I'm addicted. I And I'm starting to not mind stitching with three strands too. It's not that bad. Something new for me, I guess. Hope you all have a good night and I will check in with you all tomorrow. It is December 1st at 1.56 p.m. And the Jingle Ball is about to start. I have a ticket. Hopefully I see many of you in there as well. Gonna do some shopping and just watch all the videos and just have a good time. Uh, while I'm waiting, I am still working on my paw ornament. And I'm getting close to being done stitching the um, actual paw. And then I have some red and green and then the beading. So I'm super excited for that. So I'll be stitching that while attending the Jingle Ball. So I was killing time before the Jingle Ball opened up. Um, and YouTube suggested the runner stitcher to me. So I'm going to check him out. I'm going to let you listen to his introduction. And hopefully you'll go check him out too. Stitchy friends, my name is Andrew, and this is The Runner Stitcher. This is a channel primarily about cross-stitching. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of running since I am a runner. Um, you can kind of see the, some of the metals burned in the background. Um, so it'll be a little bit about running, but mostly about cross-stitching. Um, this is my very first floss tube, floss tube number one. <laughs> Here we go. I forgot to add, I'm enjoying his video. I love that he did some shout outs. He's a new stitcher. So always remember to hit subscribe when you are checking out a YouTube and you enjoy it. Um, they could use, you know, the support and we all love to grow our channel. So I'm going to get back to the runner stitcher in a bit, but it's 207, so the jingle ball should be open. All right, here we go. Oh, fun. I got to complete my profile. Okay, so my haul from Jingle Ball is Christmas Terrarium from Tiny Modernist. Go tell it on the mountain from Heartstring Samplery. I believe this one is a Jingle Ball exclusive. Not sure if I'm gonna stitch the words, but I absolutely love this one. Greetings from St. Nick.
from Teresa Kogut. I am definitely stitching this one from my patriotic section. Um, home for Christmas. Teresa Kogut, absolutely beautiful as always. Humbug from Hello from Liz Matthews. I got this to go in the Grinch section. And to all a good night, I fell in love with this one from Hello from Liz Matthews. It is just beautiful. And the last one is Winter Woods from Satsuma Street. I spent a lot of money on PDFs at the Jingle Ball, so I'll have a lot to stitch. I love, love this one. I think I'm going to start this one pretty soon. Mail time. Wow. They really shoved that full. And here's Shadow Girl. Shadow, what's she doing? Well, this is very cutely wrapped. Let's see if I can do this all one-handed. Maybe. That's really cute, supporting a small business. And it's just in a little brown paper bag. And it is my camping out mill hill kit. Super cute. And it also had my duplicate. I already have this cookie jar. So if you would like this cookie jar mill hill kit with everything in it, uh, just say the word cookie in the comments. Well, the beading is done. It's the evening of December 1st at about 7 p.m. And I've got the beading done. I don't think I'm going to cut it out tonight, though, because I think I want to do a new start for the jingle ball. So we'll see what happens. I had a new start tonight for jingle ball, my very first Satsuma Street chart. And I'm stitching it on opalescent Ada. Instead, Christmas tree farm, and we are going to pick out our Christmas tree. I'm going to FaceTime Sam so that she can be a part of picking out our tree this year. So I'm not sure if I'll get any other videos, but I'll definitely take a video of it in the house. Hi everybody, today is December 2nd. Um, I got some happy mail. You just saw that we went to the Christmas tree farm to pick out our Christmas tree. We FaceTimed Sam and Ryan. It's very sad that she's not here. It's the first Christmas without her. It's going to be really, really hard. Ooh, Macchiato is the fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me. And I get a 20 count. Very pretty. And um, today I'm going to be working while I hop into some jingle balls on my new start. This is how far I got last night. I'll give you an update later on. Hi, it's about 8.30 at night on Saturday night, and it's been a day. <laughs> Saturdays are usually our chore day uh, now that I don't work weekends anymore. So Darren usually gets up and him and Brie go to Costco. I can't do Costco, I just can't. And then he'll come home and usually he takes me to lunch. We didn't go to lunch today. Um, and then we go on base and go shopping at the commissary. So we did that. And then we came home and uh, we went and got our Christmas tree. We go to the same Christmas tree farm uh, every year, not too far from us. And it was family owned. It seems to not be now. I don't know. They've hired a whole bunch of people. They've jacked up their prices. Um, we got a seven foot tree, I think is what they measured it at. And Brie wanted a wreath for the front door and it was $123.50. So I don't know. I I still can't bring myself to do the fake tree, but I mean, it, that's, that's crazy. I mean, I'm going to go buy a plot of land and uh, just plant some seeds, some tree seeds. <laughs> all different kinds of fir trees um, and open up my own tree farm. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, that's a lot of money. That really is. Um, but it makes the house smell nice. 
So far, Mal has left it alone. Um, it's up and not decorated. We're going to decorate tomorrow. Um, but he's pretty chill. He went underneath and he sniffed it, but he hasn't climbed on it and he hasn't done anything. So um, he was fine last year. So I'm, I'm assuming he'll be fine again this year. But we did that. So I'm, I'm pretty exhausted. We actually, you saw, um, I talked about a little bit in my video. There is, we, we FaceTime Sam uh, because she's in Canada <laughs> so that she could be part of it because the girls have always gone to pick a tree out. Um, pretty much every year, except for one year they both had to work or something, but it's going to be a rough holiday season for me with her not here, and I know it was hard on her too, uh, but we took a family picture. We brought Bree's boyfriend of four years as well, so we took a, a family picture um, all together, so it was really nice to be able to do that, but I sure miss her. Um, still Jingle Ball going on. I popped into a couple of rooms this evening. Um, I popped into the cocktails room because that's where my tipsy bunny stitchers are hanging out. Uh, we were the group last year that uh, kept the room open hours after Jingle Ball had ended. Uh, we're the notorious group. Uh, so I hopped in there to say hi to some of them. And then I popped into the Northwest, the Northwestern stitchers group, I think is what it's called. Um, and that's where I saw a lot of my localish dishy friends anna was in there um and a, a few others had popped in from the east coast uh, helen d popped in with a few of her uh friends from maine so it was really nice i think the bougie stitchers were in there for a little bit so it was nice to see them um it was it was pretty fun it was pretty fun to to chat with everybody and and see my local friends um via zoom because it's it's been a while since i've seen them because i i don't get down to uh the meetups uh pretty much anymore just because it's so far to drive my health and everything else that's going on it's just crazy um so we did that we hung out for a little bit i had the new start yesterday in honor of december 1st and the jingle ball I don't know who I am anymore. That's what I was telling the ladies um, in the in the Northwestern group tonight was Anna had asked me what got me into Mill Hill kits. And I'm like, I don't know. I stitched that one gingerbread boy that was sent to me. And I showed him the basket full of Mill Hill kits I have now. It's, it's insane. And then I started a Satsuma Street project. And... And she's a very, very talented designer. It's just uh, the designs never called to me. Um, the bright colors and that kind of stuff, it just it just never called to me. I saw uh, this Winter Woods at the Jingle Ball. And I was like, I have to have that. Absolutely. And then I guess it was a sal or like a mystery sal or something uh, before somebody was talking about. So... I got this and I started it last night. This is on 18 count opalescent Nexus from Be Stitch Me. I, f I have a slight headache. I feel like this is gonna take me a while because it hurts my eyes to stitch on it, if that makes sense. I'm also using two strands because I wanted it to be saturated with color. I didn't want it to be like my normal one strand where it looks a little bit more primitive. Um, but I am obsessed and I wish it didn't hurt me so bad because I would continue to stitch on it. But I had to call it quits tonight. But there it is. Look at that. And this fabric is going to be awesome. But that's two strands. I'm using Cosmo except for I subbed the white for uh, 3865, I think, the bright white. So um, I am loving, loving this. And then um, there's a polar bear here. And then hopefully this pink, you see like this pink area on this fabric? There we go. The pink area there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's going to be in the background of that, the mountains. <gasps> I really just want to keep stitching on this like so, so badly. And I don't think I'm going to fill in around the like the little holes that are here. I don't think I'm going to fill those in with the other color. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll add beads. 
because now all of a sudden I'm a bead fanatic. Uh, but I am loving this so, so much. It's just so pretty. So yeah, um, I'm going to go relax. I have to work on a model uh, that was sent back to me that is going to be for a summer release. And then I don't know if we're going to go out tonight or not. Um, it's already 8.30, so I don't know um, what we'll do if we do end up going out. I'm kind of tired, so we'll see. If not, I may pop back into the stitch rooms at the Jingle Ball. But if you are attending the Jingle Ball, let me know what you think. Um, I've heard people saying that the stitch rooms were kind of hard to find because they're now you have to go through each one till you find it. Um, but I, I'm kind of liking it. I think it's it, I think it's a lot of fun. I had I was gonna try the speed dating. I was telling the people in the um, Northwestern Stitchy Group um, that I was gonna hop off and try the speed dating, and I chickened out because I guess the speed dating is how they explained it to me is. You get randomly paired with somebody for five minutes and then you kind of just ask each other questions and see if you have anything in common other than stitching, of course. Um, and I just chickened out because I don't know if I could do like, oh, I don't know. I just think I'm really awkward. So I did. I chickened out. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll try it tomorrow before it ends. I don't know. Um, but for tonight, I just I had zero energy. So Anyways, I'm going to go back downstairs and hang out with Darren and um, see if I can work on my model a little bit if my headache goes away. My eyes are kind of, my eyes are kind of done after, this is beautiful, but it is, it's very hard to see. It really is. I may have to start using a magnifier just because of the opalescent. 18 count, I have no problems with but two strands on the opalescent. And there's a lot of, I don't know if you can see, I should take it out of the Q-snap, but I didn't. There's a lot of this is half stitches. And I really, really love it, but it was really hard to see the stinking holes because of opalescent. So that was my choice, but I think it's gonna look stunning when it's done. And I, I'm, I'm obsessed with this. Love it, love it, so. All right, I will check in with y'all tomorrow where I'll be decorating the tree, so you'll get to see that and whatever else I work on and do, I will share with you. I'm so glad you all are enjoying the vlog style. It's a lot of fun for me just to kind of fill you in on little things in, in my life and catch quick little videos. So hope you all have a good night and I shall see you all tomorrow. <music>
everybody. Today is Monday, December 4th. There wasn't really an update yesterday, uh, Sunday. I We slept in pretty late, actually, until like after 11 a.m., which we never do. And then Darren ran out and got us some delicious donuts. I went over and picked up Brianna's boyfriend, um, and he came over and we decorated the Christmas tree. So you saw that. Uh, we had a great time. I started to develop a headache and it got worse and worse. So I didn't really get very much stitching done yesterday. Um, I did work a little bit on my model for the summer release that I can't really show. Um, and then Sunday is uh, our date night. So for years now, uh, Sunday evening, Darren and I will put our phones away and cuddle together on the couch and watch our shows or watch a movie um, and just enjoy each other's company. He used to have every other Monday off, so some nights we'd pull an all-nighter and just binge watch our shows. So if anybody has any suggestions on shows, uh, we're watching, we're re-watching Longmire right now. Uh, we like Longmire, Vikings, um, we watched The Punisher, Yellowstone is a favorite, uh, we watched Game of Thrones. Any shows like that that anybody has any suggestions for, uh, please leave them in the comments because we love watching our shows together and we kind of need some new ones because we just keep re-watching series. Um, so my headache was real bad and I just kind of laid there, uh, slept in this morning and um, took Brie to work. It is pouring outside, which I love. And as we were going this afternoon to take Brie to work, there was a little deer um, in our neighbor's yard a couple houses down and it looked like a little alpaca, but it was a baby deer. It was the cutest thing ever. Uh, so we watched it for a little bit. I took her to work and then I went and I got my nails done so you all don't have to look at the ugly. These are my real nails. I just get dip done, but I decided to go Christmassy and do like a red sparkly. Uh, but it had been forever and I figured I'd treat myself. I still do have a little bit of a headache, but I did work on this a little bit before taking Brie to work. It's it, This is out of print. I know that Blackbird Designs um, are re-releasing some, so keep an eye out to see if this is re-released. But uh, this is Winter Wonderland. Absolutely love this. Got it off of eBay. And this is my floss bling. Oops. That's the back of my floss bling. Here's the front of my floss bling with the called for colors. And it's in the Q-Snap now. Um, you'll see it all in all its glory but I did the door this morning and I'm working on the last two windows and then I just have fill in and then this will be complete so I am hoping that this will be done by the end of the year that I can take it to get framed so it's so pretty um this is on an XJU designs 18 count I think it's dirty linen um, so it's like a grayish color and it just looks so, so pretty. So I'll be working on that uh, probably tonight. And um, I'm done decorating for Christmas. You can see my hutch behind me. Um, I have big plans for next year. We'll see if it happens. We don't use our dining table, which is literally like right next to me. Um, we eat downstairs and like Brie eats in a room. Um, I'm, we don't really use the, the dining table at all. So I want to get rid of that and then move a piece that has my silent night display underneath the window and get me another hutch. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Um, but that's my plan because I, I'm enjoying decorating. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bree's cat is going crazy down at the end of the hallway. <laughs> I got home just a little bit ago and the animals were acting really, really weird. Like Shadow was like super off. Like she's never super excited when I get home because I'm the spare human. Uh, her favorite is her daddy. But today she acted like extra excited with wagging her tail. It was just the weirdest thing ever. I thought maybe she had to go out. She didn't have to go out to go potty. I don't know what was up. 
And now he is acting, <laughs> he's running from Bree's bedroom to our bedroom and like his tail is crooked and his back is arched. I have no idea what's going on right now with the animals. Um, but I <laughs> wanted to make this quick update. Oh, now he's coming out here. Hopefully he doesn't pick on Shadow. Um, I wanted to make this quick update. I'm, I'll, I may do another one tonight. I'm not sure. Um, but I just wanted to check in with y'all since I didn't really record anything yesterday. So I hope you all had an amazing time with the Jingle Ball this past weekend because I had a headache Sunday. I only really participated Saturday, but I did get to pop in and, and see some friends, which was pretty cool and make some new ones. So I uh, did a lot of shopping as I shared with you. <laughs> Um, but, oh, sir, he is messing with the ornament. Sir, what are you doing? Mao. Malfurion, what are you doing? Sir, why are you on grandma's decor? Look at him. Oh, he touched the wood and now his paws are dirty. How nice. He is just being really kind of naughty. Okay, I'm back. I had to scold him because he was messing with uh, one of the ornaments. Luckily, it wasn't really a breakable ornament, but still. He has been so good at not messing with the tree. And then while Grandma is sitting out here recording, he decides to mess with the tree. <laughs> now he's in the window. So, oh my goodness. Anyways. I will check in with y'all later on. Hopefully you have a great evening and you are dry, warm, and inside stitching uh, because that's where I will be. All right, so I was able to finish the door and the windows. So now all that's left is fill-in. I also cut out my little doggy paw. I've not finished it yet. Um, I got to do the felt on the back and then I think I'm going to use the little magnet um, and stick it onto a little metal uh, mailbox that I have upstairs. So yeah, super cute. And now it's just time for some filling. everybody today is December 5th it's a Tuesday I am not feeling the greatest I am sitting in the Jeep right now um, Brie wanted to get her nails done and I actually went yesterday and got them done uh, she mentioned she didn't want to get her nails done again and then last night she was like tomorrow do you think we can go get our nails and I'm like I already got mine done so here I am sitting in the parking lot. Um, I ran next door though to Hobby Lobby because um, her cross stitch was ready. They had to fix it to recenter it. Sorry for the glare, there we go. Poisonous plants from the witchy stitcher. I love this frame. And of course I got glass, but I got the cheaper glass. It was still expensive for this. I don't know if it was because of the frame. But it's so pretty and I can't wait to give it to her. I don't know if it'll wait till Christmas since she saw it on social media. We'll see. <coughs> oh, I, my head is kind of hurting and I have a little bit of a stomach ache. I have a meetup tonight too. I don't know if I'm gonna go, if I'm feeling a little off and wanna get people sick. Um, but I also, <laughs> I remember that I ordered one mill hill kit because brie picked it out for her boyfriend um the christmas pickle he his history is um is not good 
Uh, he lived with us for a couple of weeks. His mother had kicked him out of their home. He lived with us for, well, probably for about a month or so. And then he moved in with um, like his aunt and uncle that l live a few blocks away from us. And he doesn't have a stocking. He doesn't have ornaments. So we took him to get our Christmas tree and he decorated it. We got him a pickle. <laughs> We got him a pickle ornament and we got him a, a regular ornament too. So he has a couple ornaments on our tree and then I'm gonna make him this pickle ornament that Brie picked out. Um, but of course it couldn't travel alone. So apparently, I don't remember ordering these. I must have just been, I don't know. But this is cute. It's a love stitching. It's a little heart. Another Mill Hill kit. I could open up a Mill Hill shop right now. And then I got Autumn Harvest. I think these were on sale um, for the Black Friday sale. So I got those three. So I'll just sit in here until Brie is all done and then go home and maybe take a little bit of a nap um, to see if I can kick whatever I'm, I'm feeling on here. So it is a rainy, you can see by my window, it is raining. Um, and it's going to continue to rain for several days. Part of me wishes that it was snow because I would like some snow, but not a ton. So I'll take the rain. The rain's good. Anyways, um, I may or may not check in with y'all later, depending on how I am feeling. Um, but I hope you all have a great Tuesday and I shall check in with you again later. So despite having a headache tonight, I finished my little Mill Hill kit and I just stuck it on this metal mailbox because I have the other kit coming and I'll stick it on here too. I just thought it was really cute. And then it goes back in there. Hey everybody, today is Wednesday, December 6th. Um, yesterday was kind of a bust. I uh, wasn't feeling the greatest, as I told you um, in my little video clip. And I ended up having to cancel attending my Stitchy Meetup that I basically host um, at the last minute because my head was just too bad. Uh, today I'm feeling a little better. The headache is just a little bit there, but my nose is runny. So I may have just caught a cold. Uh, I just dropped Brie off at work. Um, I have been working on bagging up my mini retreat box charts. This is one of them. There's another one and I'm working on the human version now uh, so that I could start boxing them up. I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, I'm really, really proud of this retreat box and I'm really feeling like a failure. Sorry if I get teary eyed. Um, I don't know if it was just, I mean, the cost is, is pretty equal to a lot of the other stitchy boxes, um, but I threw in so much more. And so I thought it was going to be a big hit. And you know me, I am an open book. I don't hide anything. I don't keep anything from anybody. Um, I feel like a failure. I worked so hard on this box. And I had some amazing, amazing talented people um, that worked their butt off to make me special items for it. And Vonna graciously offered to do a Zoom uh, finishing class. I mean, I thought it was just going to be this huge hit and it's not. And now I'm doubting myself in every way. I am <laughs> quite a bit in debt. Um, I did help my friends out, you know, buying buying their items, um, but now I am in debt um, and I have a lot of boxes <laughs> remaining. Um, I think I listed, I think, I think I dropped it down to 25 left, but I made enough or I did enough for 75 boxes and I think maybe I've sold 20. So I I don't know what to do. Um, I have just been feeling 
so off lately, doubting my designing, uh, just, just so much stuff. And I shared that, you know, I was feeling depressed and, and this is a big part of it is, is my designing journey because I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like I'm successful like I had hoped. I'm so happy that there are people that are stitching my designs, but I don't know. I just feel that that I'm not up to par with a lot of the other designers to be to be perfectly frank. Um, I was hoping shops would order directly through me, uh, but it seems like they prefer to go through the distributor, which is fine. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I'm going to continue throughout next year because I have models done and being stitched currently for releases through next year. I'll see how market goes. Um, it's just, it may come to the point where I'm going to need to just find a job um, and this will go on the back burner. Um, but I'm really disheartened about the stitchy box. It, I really am proud of it. There is a full reveal video um, that I put up on my channel. If you, there's many people that don't like surprise boxes. I kind of understand that because a couple of years ago, I think I purchased, I purchased a bunch of the December surprise boxes um, and stuff like that. And some of them were a hit and some of them weren't. So I totally get that. So I did a full reveal video for those that wanted to see what's in it. And I'm pretty proud of it. Um, I'm just not sure why they're not selling. I have no idea. And because of those boxes, I didn't get star seller for uh, the month of November, even though I stated my shipping times were like seven to eight weeks after. Everybody knows that I was shipping, you know, in January. Um, so I didn't get star seller because of that. So that's it. <laughs> it's just one thing after another. Also, I'm not feeling good. So it's the poor me, what was me thing. But if, if any of you have any advice on why my box failed over other boxes, please let me know. Um, I really think that this is an incredible box. I'm really proud of it. It's something it's basically stitching themed um for the most part there's like one bigfoot only item besides the chart but i did two versions of the chart to make everybody happy so i don't know i don't know i'm just feeling i'm just feeling defeated but anyways um so i'm going to continue begging the charts um, I did start, um, uh, and the new, uh, Mill Hill kit. I'm all flabbergasted now. I'm sorry. I started the new Mill Hill kit last night. Um, I couldn't really sleep. I kept sleeping off and on. So I stitched through my headache and I completed the pickle. Um, I just need to beat it and cut it out. <laughs> this is going to go, uh, to Bree's boyfriend uh, of over four years. Uh, we got him like last year, I got him like sock monkey stuff. Like he just likes unusual things. And so we picked out the Christmas pickle. We actually got him a Christmas pickle ornament for the tree. It's like sparkly. You'll see it um, when I do the, the decor tour. Um, so I'm gonna do this and then I gotta get the mushroom done for Brie and then I'll give them those in their stockings and then I gotta stitch up Sam and her husband's. Uh, since we won't see them this year, I'll probably give it to them next year. Um, shipping to them has been a nightmare and they understand that. So uh, hopefully they'll be able to come visit or they move back. There's talk of moving back. So I'll get theirs done. I think I'll do the Canadian goose for Ryan, her husband, because he's Canadian and there's a Canadian goose meal hook kit. I've not ordered it yet. Um, I need to do that, but I'm, I'm addicted to these meal hill kits. They're so fun and they stitch up so quick. Um, I still have the frames coming from Ukraine, so I haven't started any bigger ones yet because I want to wait for my frames to get here uh, because the smaller ones 
when I hold it in my hand, they tend to, because it's perforated paper, it's hard to explain, like they tend to bend. So like I, I hold it kind of like this. And so it dips and then it kind of forms to that. So I'm hoping that the frames that I ordered um, will make it easier. I saw somebody who had just gotten the magnetic frames on TikTok. I watched a video and she put the perforated paper in there and was uh, beading and it seemed to work fine. So I'm just worried because the magnets, how strong the magnets are, if it'll hold the paper in place. Um, but I'm super excited and that's coming from Ukraine. So I'll definitely share that and do a little video to show y'all um, how they work. Um, but yeah. I'm just going to continue bagging charts, uh, probably bead this tonight. Does anybody know if there is a Mill Hill Kit Master list somewhere, like there is for Blackbird Designs? I've tried looking and I haven't found anything, um, but I would like to know if there's a master list because I said, like I said, I'm obsessed with these. Um, so I want to see what's all out there or like the harder to get ones um, and stuff like that would be a lot of fun if there was something like that. Also, I am currently downloading World of Warcraft again. Um, my daughter Brie uh, earned enough money with her new job that she bought a really nice gaming tower. So the gaming laptop that we had got her, she wiped and is letting me use. So I really don't have a lot of time to be on WoW, but both our daughters and my husband, my brother, my dad, um, sometimes my sister, she, she hasn't played in a while, um, I'll play. And then I have tons of friends because I've played, I played nonstop from vanilla for several years and I've been off and on. But if anybody else is a World of Warcraft player, um, I'm on Windrunner, I'm Alliance, and uh, I'll probably be on my Druid, Tality. I cannot remember my Battle.net tag at the moment because it's downloading, it's Tallow something, I think. But if you play World of Warcraft and you want to be, uh, what are the, <laughs> Battle.net friends or whatever, I have to relearn the lingo. Um, like I said, I probably won't be on there a lot because I, I would prefer to stitch um, and I need to get you know, the designs and the models and I'm prepping for a Nashville market. Um, but if you want to be Battle.net friends, just let me know like in the comments and I will let you know my Battle.net tag. Um, and we can be Battle.net friends. So that is pretty much going to be the update for today. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get much more stitching done other than just beating this pickle. <laughs> beating the pickle oh ah uh, I can't believe I stitched a pickle like it <laughs> I don't even know anymore um so I'm gonna let y'all go and then I'm gonna upload this for the a weekly recap and I shall see you all in the next week I hope you have a wonderful evening uh day whenever you're watching this I truly appreciate each and every one of you I'm sorry that I'm emotional <laughs> sometimes uh but i just like to be real with y'all and honest and um a lot of you shared your depression stories and and stuff like that with me and it means the world to me that you opened up as well and that we're not alone um i'm not diagnosed but i have a feeling i'm on an antidepressant um it's, it wasn't meant for that. It was meant for my vagus nerve damage from long haul. Um, but I don't know if I'm on a strong enough dose to where it should be affecting me for that. It's strong enough to control my vagus nerve. So there's that. Um, and yes, I will probably see the doctor uh, after the holidays. They're, they're so crazy at the Naval Hospital right now. It's just, it's, it's insane. But I share everything, um, my feelings, my life, everything, because I want y'all to, to know me, but I also want everybody to know that, you know, you're not alone when you're going through stuff and struggles. And 
me telling y'all helps me because the comments that you leave are incredible and uplifting, um, but you also share with me and I hope that I bring you comfort and that you're not alone and that if you ever need to talk to anybody, I am here. You can message me um, on pretty much any social media platform um, and I'll be there to help. So I know the holiday seasons are hard for a lot of people, um, especially if you're alone and you don't have family around. So um, I'm here you know, if you need anything. So thank you for being there for me for four plus years. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and I'm going to let you go now. So until I see you again, happy stitching. Love y'all.